Hey guys, it's you for kids. I'm Adrian and I'm short and we're back with another video. We're sorry we missed last week's upload. Since it's school holidays for us, we just added a bow. We had no time to make it. But today we have a very important video for you. As you guys saw the title, today we'll talk about four things to make sure you don't stun your growth. Because since you're kids, you're still growing. Same with us, we don't want to stun our growth, right? So basically stunning our growth while exercising and just living in general. As we said before, there's four topics that we're going to be talking about to make sure you do not stun your growth. The first topic we're going to be talking about is not exercising or training too much. Guys, it's great to stay active and do your exercise, but make sure you do not overdo it because it can stun your growth. If you're in the gym or at home training, exercising for multiple hours every single day is no good because your muscles and body do not get a break. See, your energy all gets wasted. Oh, when... my friends are wasted. Yeah, it all gets wasted on building muscle and actually doing the workouts. So your body ha wastes all the energy on that so it doesn't actually get time to grow. And everyone knows that you have to grow up first before you start getting mad muscle and things. We suggest to, do, to stay active an hour to an hour and 30 minutes a day, but if you're exercise, exercising hardcore, hardcore. We, we, we recommend three to four days max. Max like 40 minute workouts. Don't overdo it, especially since you're kids, you still need to go. Guys, we are now up to our second topic, and this topic is also about exercise. It's about lifting weights. All little kids like me and Sean love to lift weights, but if they don't know what they're doing, it could definitely stun their growth. So you don't want to lift weights or do too many exercises that are pushing down your bones, because as you probably think, stopping your bones from shooting up and that, that will stun your growth and your grow, bones won't grow as much and like you don't want to lift too much he too heavy too much heavy weights because that will push down on your bones as I said and you'd rather do like more reps because that they, will put less pressure on and, they'll, and a lighter weight some exercises that are, we wouldn't suggest doing is stuff like squatting with weights just do squats but with more reps so say you do 50 squats maybe pop it up to like 80 squats instead and you can do bench press and things, but don't do like lighter weight and more reps because bench press pushes down your bones a little bit, but it doesn't has as much effect as like squatting. And with the shoulder exercises, the some machines that like on your shoulders and like you have to like go up and like pushes down on your shoulders. That's not good. So just you know the ones with the dumbbells. You get the dumbbells, put it on your shoulders. You go like this back down. That's that works just as well. So yeah. For our third topic, we'll be talking about less of what you don't need to do and more of what you need to do. It's about food and vitamins. Now, everybody knows that you need your calcium for your bones, you need protein for to grow your muscles, and you need like nutritious foods to just grow your whole body. Some good foods for calcium would be, well, you probably don't like this food, and we definitely didn't used to like this food. It's broccoli. It has a bunch of calcium, and it's very nutritious. But a lot of you, like we said, don't probably don't like it. So another... The good thing for calcium is dairy. It's great for kids. But definitely try eating as much dairy as you can while you're a kid because it's not the best for when you grow up and you're an adult. When we say dairy, we don't mean like eat chocolates, milkshakes, yeah, fatty cheeses, all this stuff with a bunch of fatty sugar. It's stuff you don't need because that's the stuff that will get you fatter and will get you unhealthy. Yeah, and, but some good foods will be like a glass of milk during the day, have a cheese, some cheese in your sandwich, maybe have like some porridge for breakfast or like a healthy cereal like we picked with dairy milk. But if you're like lactose intolerant or like allergic to dairy, you probably don't have it. Have like a better option for you would probably be like vegetables and like broccoli and things like that. Now, protein. For protein, you can have meat. That's one alternative. But white meat is probably better off than red meat because red meat, red meat you can't have too much of. And it's, it's heavier good. too. It's heavier. It's not that good for your heart and blood pressure. Plus, white meat probably actually has like chicken has probably more protein than red meat. And a good, another good alternative is also same with calcium vegetables, because especially beans. Meat might have a bit. Probably does have a bit more. But beans but actually beans like have a lot. That's one. And plus, vegetables are much lighter and definitely much more healthier for you, less risk taking. And a lot of you probably not allergic to vegetables, but some might be allergic to meat, so it's definitely a better option. Um, eggs is also good. We suggest having it not every day. Don't have it every day in the morning. Because every has, second day. It has a lot of cholesterol, but like every about, second day. So yeah, have it every second day. That'd be good. Now for our last topic, just nutritious foods. Just have like a lot of vegetables, not too much meat, not too much like unhealthy food. Maybe have like a little a bit of an unhealthy food once a week, just so you don't go crazy about 
a lot. I don't have my favorite, my favorite sausage. Just you can have it once a week. It's not nothing's gonna happen. But yeah, well, that's the first thing. Guys, we're now onto the last topic of the video. It's probably one of the most important, if not the most important topic, and it is rest and sleep. As we said earlier in the video, you need a break and a little rest to make sure your muscles grow and you yourself grow. And if you guys didn't already know this, you grow the most when you're sleeping. We suggest for you kids probably have, we also kids, I don't know why I'm saying that, but we suggest at least eight to nine hours of sleep minimum, and definitely if you can, have more. And for kids under the age, eight and under, have um, nine to 12, because that's when your body grows the most. That's pretty much it, that's pretty much it. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Yeah, like, subscribe, share, anything you can do to help. Again, like we said, we're so sorry we couldn't upload last week. Just all this, since the school holidays, we're kind of busy. And that's probably why we didn't upload. It's just unfortunate. But hopefully, you, you take this, in, you take this, this video. information. Take it's this, probably this information more in. of an important video for you to take back and remember. So, that's basically it. Subscribe, See like, see ya. See ya.